So today's video is going to be a long one. I'm going to go ahead and just let you know now. It's definitely going to be a longer video. But I have had a ton of requests from you guys to do an updated Holy Grail products video. And I feel like I have a good stash of Holy Grail products to show you guys because these are products that I will continuously go back to no matter what. If I run out of it, I'll repurchase it. Um, I just I adore each and every one of these products. So I figured, you know, I got a good bit right here and I'm excited to show you guys because I swear by these products. Um, I do want to start with hair because I do have a couple hair products products that I want to show you and like tools or whatever but then I have a lot of makeup so um, first off let's start with hair products the first thing you guys probably aren't surprised about is this Batiste dry shampoo this is the hint of color for brown hair and I love this stuff it's about eight dollars at the drugstore at Walgreens at least I think it might be a little bit cheaper at Ulta I can't remember I know you can get it online at Ulta.com I have been seeing these in my local Walgreens it's in one of the Walgreens but it's not in another one that's around me so I don't know what's up with that but I did find these in one of my Walgreens and I love them. I always stock up. If I do not have this in my life, we're going to have problems. This is like a step of keeping my hair healthy. It's not washing it every day, so I need a good dry shampoo. And this one is amazing. Next, these two products are just hand in hand amazing. I've talked about them so many times. I talked about them in my last hair care video. And it's these two. We have the Macadamia Deep Repair Mask, which I'm almost out of again. I'll be purchasing my fourth one very soon. I adore it. And then my organ or my argan oil from Numi. I'm actually like halfway through this bottle. I'm so excited because I never felt like I would get through this whole bottle because you a little does go a long way. So my hair has gotten a lot more healthy over the past few months. I've just been taking really good care of it. And if you guys want to know a little bit more about that, then just let me know in the comments below. I could do a video on like my hair care routine. Um, talk about my color. I do put my color in the bottom bar of the video so if you're wondering it is down below because I can't remember the name of it every time but these two are amazing this makes my hair so smooth and my hair is never frizzy it's just amazing and this one if I literally do not have this in my hair care you know routine I go nuts and my hair just gets really dry and gross so next is a bun maker this one is from Claire's They're about six bucks a piece this is a backup because the last one I had Daisy actually like ripped it to shreds I guess because she thought it was a toy but I adore these they do have smaller ones but I like the bigger ones the bigger the better I have super long hair even without extensions so I do need a big bun to get all of my hair up in there and I do have two videos showing you guys how you can use um, the buns, but the reason why I'm mentioning this is because last weekend I actually lost my other bun, my little bun maker like this, and I decided to use a sock, and it was horrible. You could see my hair through the sock. It was difficult to work with, and I realized how much I love this because this makes making a bun so much easier. You wouldn't even believe. I feel like the texture of this, it just grabs your hair, and it holds it in place so well. Also, I recommend these over this. I'm actually returning this. This is the Hot Buns. I purchased this before I went to the mall and just got this one. But um, I don't like these at all. I think they're really difficult to work with personally. These are a must-have for me. I have to have them all the time because I'm a sock bun fanatic. Okay, next I want to talk about a couple hair tools. First one is always chilling in the back of my videos. And it's kind of hooked all the way over there. So it's kind of going to be back here, but this is a Numi Megastar Flat Iron. I know this has been sold out for a while, but if you follow me on my social media sites, I will let you guys know when it's back in stock because I have a feeling when it comes back in, it's going to sell out like crazy again because everybody's been wanting this, but it's been sold out for the longest time. I love this. My hair is so shiny and it stays so straight for a ton of days. I literally have never had a straightener make my hair this shiny before. So if you want to know when this is back in stock, just follow me on my social media sites. I'll have everything in the description box and also at the end of the video. And I'll let you guys know when it's back in because they're going to notify me so I can tell you so you can get it for everybody else. <laughs> and this one is no surprise, you guys. I've been using this for almost a year now. It's my new me curling wands. My favorites are the 32, I know this looks weird, the 32 millimeter wand and the 25, which is like the one inch. I love these wands, you guys. They're so amazing. My curls stay all day and they never look like frizzy or anything like that. They look so beautiful. And I've used these in so many tutorials. Like, I just, I swear by these products. I really do. I only use Numi products for my hair, like, uh, tool-wise. I even have the Numi blow dryer that I love. 
So I highly recommend these. I will have coupon codes for this and the straightener for when it gets back in stock down below if you guys are interested. Last thing I want to mention for hair is my extensions. I do wear the Bellamy hair extensions and mine are the 220 gram 20 inch extensions in number two. Even though I did dye my hair a lush cherry color, um, these chocolate extensions still go really well with my hair. They kind of add like a little bit of dimension in with it. So I love them. And this is what they look like. They're really thick. I do need to get mine cut. I haven't gotten around to it, but they're so thick. And I know I have like super long hair naturally, but I just really want extra volume, especially on the ends of my hair, because sometimes when you have really long hair, your hair can kind of look a little bit thinner at the ends. So that's what I love these for. I think they look really great. They look very natural. I haven't had any problems with them, so I definitely recommend these guys. And I only have... I only have four wefts in. I have two, uh, one on this side, one on this side, and then I have two on the lower part of my head to add some volume to the link. So I highly recommend them. I'll put everything in the description box and also a coupon code. So for makeup, I'm just gonna go ahead and start with brushes that I love. Really quickly gonna go through these because I've talked about them a lot. I also have a makeup brushes I recommend video, which I'll link below, but Stigma, I love Stigma. I did purchase my Mr. Bunny set and I love that set to death. I purchased that over a year ago and I love it. Um, I love the little Kabuki sets. These I feel like are the must have brushes. So first one is Tapered Kabuki F86. I've been using this for underneath my eyes for over a year now. I love it. It's great to apply your concealer. It's great to set the concealer. It's perfect. And then these are my favorite eye brushes. We have the Sigma E25. The Sigma E35, which is a bigger blending brush. The Sigma E30, which is a pencil brush. And then the Sigma uh, E15, which is a flat definer brush. Another brand I love is Real Techniques. I have been obsessed with these brushes like crazy. So first is the stippling brush. I adore this to like blend out my blush and bronzer. It is so good. It's just so, it's dense but not too dense. It's the perfect brush. Seriously, so soft. Love it. And then this one is one that I like use every, every, every single day. It's so good. It's the Real Techniques Contour Brush. It's exactly what it is. It's a contour brush and it's perfect to just get a stronger contour, blend it out. Oh, you guys, I love this. And I've actually seen those brushes at Walmart, so check out your local Walmart to see if they have them because that's where I purchased a bunch of mine. And then the last brush I want to mention is definitely a splurge, but it's something that I use every day and it's completely worth the money that I spent on it. It's the MAC 134 brush and I love this for bronzer. This is so good, you guys. You can use it for powder or whatever, but I use it for bronzer. It's just... Oh, it's literally amazing. Like I can't, I don't know how to really describe it. It's it's not really dense. If you're in a Mac store, just go feel it. Just go feel it. I adore this brush. I use it all the time. You guys probably see it in all my videos. And I know the first time I mentioned it, people were like, oh my God, at the price. But honestly, I use it every day. So it's, it's worth it for me. The last tool I'm going to talk about, they are dirty, but because I use them again every day. It's the Beauty Blender, and this is what they look like. I know, like I said, mine are dirty, but um, I know some people kind of get confused with the Beauty Blender dupes in the original Beauty Blender. This one you can get at Sephora, and I believe Ulta, and also CherryCulture.com and stuff like that. They have these as well. But don't be fooled by the Beauty Blender and then the Beauty Blender dupes, which you can find at TJ Maxx, because there's a big difference. I've tried the Sonia Kashuk Beauty Blender dupe, and it's it's not good at all. I did a whole video on that last year, and there's a lot of kind of controversy about it, because some people are like, well, I don't want to spend this much on a sponge, but it's just my opinion. Nothing compares to the original Beauty Blender. So if you're wanting to pick it up, make sure it's the original Beauty Blender. It's pink or black or white. I know they have a couple colors now, but they will all say original beauty blender and I highly recommend it. I know it's expensive, but trust me, it'll change your makeup world. On to the products. First off, we're going to start with primers and these are ones that I have figured out the primers that is best for me and these are the absolute best primers. For my skin type, I have oily oily sensitive skin with big pores and you know, the kind of skin you don't want. So 
I love this. I use the Benefit Professional. It's an oil-free pore minimizer, and this is really, really good. If you have large pores like I have them right here, you definitely want to check this out because it will minimize the look of your pores. It's so good. Just kind of press it into those larger areas, and it does wonders. I don't find that this keeps me super matte, so that's where this one comes in. This is the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Refined Zone Treatment. This helps keep you matte all day long. This also helps with pores as well, so combining the two together is just a godsend. I love them. So these are my two primers that I've used and like completely swear by. I used to not be a primer lover back in the day, but since I've found these two and been using them a lot more, I'm just like... I have to have a primer every day now. For foundation, now when I was looking at my foundation drawer, because all my foundations I have in there are ones that I do use, but when I thought about the ones I had, I was like, you know, I can't guarantee that I'll repurchase one of these foundations again because new things are always coming out and you're always wanting to try different things. So I chose Drugstore Foundation and it's the CoverGirl 3-in-1 Foundations. This is so much better than Revlon Color Stay in my opinion. Keeps you a lot more matte than the Revlon Color Stay, the one that is supposed to be for oily combo skin. This is beautiful you guys. I currently have on 855 right now, that's the only one I have on my face. And I'll use 857 to mix with it when I'm really, really self tanned. So. I adore these. You have just a nice kind of satin finish. It's not too matte and I just love it. I barely have to blot throughout the day with these and they last so long on my skin. I get compliments on my skin when I wear these so I love them. I think they're totally worth it and they're like under $10 I think so go check these out. Revlon Color stays a little bit, not a little bit, it's a lot heavier than this. This feels very lightweight on the skin. So next up is concealer and these are my favorite concealers for underneath the eyes. It is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealers and I have NC20 and NC30. These are beautiful you guys. I love them. They last so long. I literally use the crap out of these and the NC20 is about down to here now. Like right here and then NC30 is only like right there. But you only need a small amount with these and you are fine like it'll last all day no matter what concealer I use ever I know that this will always stay in place they're just beautiful concealers and they cover so well so I highly highly recommend these and for a MAC palette I have this is the MAC Pro and Conceal palette correct yes in medium I personally did not think I would get a lot of use out of this which is kind of sad for me to buy it and think that but I have used this so so much. I use these two shades the most. I use this one to do cream contour and I like to just play with them. This is a good palette to kind of just play with and see what you like. I do believe these are the studio finished concealers in here. I'm not positive but I heard that so I don't know. If you know if that is, if these are the studio finished concealers, let me know. But I love it. It's been so amazing and it has lasted me so so long. I'm going to talk about bronzer real quick. I don't have like a blush that I feel like I would stop everything and go repurchase that I just think is a holy grail because I have so many blushes that are like the same kind of colors. I don't know. I just have so many and I feel like I could use another one if I used one up. But this is by far the bronzer that I would go out and repurchase whenever I used it up. It's the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Give Me Sun. I've had this. This was one of the first products I purchased from MAC actually because I purchased the foundation and this the first time I ever went to MAC. It was a long time ago. I still have it. It still it kind of has like gotten rid of the dome shape a little bit which I'm excited about. This is a beautiful color to bronze your skin with. I love it. I always go back to it no matter what. I'll put it in my drawer and I'll start experimenting with other things just because you know you get distracted. Um, especially being a blogger, you kind of like try so many different things that you forget about, you know, the holy grails that you have. But this one I I go back to and I'm like, Mwah. I love you. It's so smooth, so gorgeous on the skin. It can look a little orange if you're more fair, but if you're like a medium skin tone, oh beautiful. I have one more face product and it is this powder from Makeup Forever. I barely have any left. This is my second one. I want to purchase another one but Sephora is not stocking my color which is Translucent Natural. I love that shade and they haven't stocked it for months. I'm even on the email list to get a notification whenever you know they 
restock it, but obviously they don't want to restock it, so I don't know what's going on. I even tweeted Makeup Forever. I'm like, what is going on? But I haven't heard anything, so if you know why they're not restocking my favorite powder, please let me know because I adore this. It literally makes you look airbrushed, and it minimizes your pores as well, and it helps keep me matte. I just love this to set my foundation. I think it's beautiful, and I highly recommend it. They do have two other shades that are in stock, but... Not this one. Moving on to eyes, I have my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. This is also one I've had for a really, really long time as well, and I still have a ton of product left. I love this to prime my eyes. It just really neutralizes my um, lid, and it makes the eyeshadow go on a lot more pigmented. It stays on a lot longer. I have oily eyelids, so I need a primer at all times. If I do not have a primer, I'm not putting eyeshadow on. I'm not putting anything on my eyes other than mascara because it's not going to last, and it's just going to look like crap. So this creates the perfect canvas. I mean, it's just a holy grail. I've talked about it before. I think I talked about it in my last holy grail products video. Now, when I was thinking about eyeshadow, I was wanting to pick one of the palettes that I had. And this is by far the palette that I adore, that I would recommend to anybody who is wanting to purchase a palette from like Sephora. And you want to make sure you get your money's worth out of it. Because I know some palettes you're kind of like, uh, I don't think I'm going to use that much. But this one, I feel like everybody would get some good use out of if you love neutral shades. So, it's the Naked Basics palette. This is an amazing, amazing palette from Urban Decay. When it first came out, I think everybody who had the Naked palettes were kind of like, why would I want to buy that? Because I have all these other palettes from them and these are like not even cool shades. Like they're just plain old shades. But everybody who purchased it pretty much was like, oh my god, I love it. Because they're all matte other than Venus, which is satin. And you can do so many things with this palette. You don't realize it at first, but these are stunning shades. Like, you could do a really dramatic smoky eye. You could do a really light eye for the day. You can just go to this palette for anything. And it's great for traveling. I I, I swear by it. I think it's amazing. I think it's like 20 something dollars, maybe 30 I don't know, maybe 26 I don't know. I think if you're going to purchase your first palette, it should definitely be this one. I do love the Naked one, but there's a lot more shimmer in there. You can't necessarily go to it for one whole look. This one you can, and I don't like the Naked 2. Um, it's just not my cup of tea, but this one is by far my fave. Okay, I have one more palette I want to show you guys. This one is a discontinued palette from Wet n Wild, but I'll put the link below where you can get this. This is the Wet n Wild Vanity Palette. This is another great palette for everyday use. You have one side that is matte, one side that is shimmer. You can easily take this from day to night, and I just think it's amazing. This shade is perfect for your crease. You have a dark matte brown, a really pretty gold shade, and then this cream shade down here, it's matte. It's my favorite highlight. I do believe this is Brulee from Wet n Wild. I love Brulee. It's another matte eyeshadow from Wet n Wild that you can get individually. This is another great palette if you're just starting out with makeup and kind of want to experiment with different things, maybe you smoke it out or do a really light eye, I think you should purchase this because it has great pigmentation and they do last all day. Last eyeshadow is coming from my MAC palette that I made and it is going to be Soft Brown. This is it right here. I love, love, love Soft Brown as my transition shade. I feel like it goes with anything. It just looks so good. You can use this and be done with your whole eye look. Okay, for liners, I have three. Have a liquid and two pencils. So the first one is liquid liner, Jordana Fabu liner in black, and I love the brown one as well. I'm actually wearing the brown right now. Oh my gosh, you guys, I adore these. These are so good. They're so pigmented, so easy to work with, and they're like pins, so it's really easy because it's like a drawing on your eye. I love these. I've had this black one specifically for a few months now. I did buy a backup, but I haven't had to use it because this has been so pigmented. I have had no problems with the felt tip kind of like wearing down or anything, so I, I love that liner. And then for black stick eyeliner or black pencil liner, this is the CoverGirl Ink It. And it's actually a retractable liner, so this is perfect. It does last all day. It doesn't smudge on me. It's so black. I love this to tight line. It's beautiful. And then we have this one. This is a nude eyeliner from Rimmel. This is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Eyeliner in Nude. And it is so good. It really brightens up the eye. If you don't want to put black on your waterline, which I normally don't. Today I have brown. But I, for the past couple months, I have been using nude on my waterline. And I love it. It just makes you look so much more awake. And I just, I think it looks so beautiful. It looks a lot better than putting white eyeliner on your waterline. Because it looks a lot more natural. 
We're almost done, you guys. Almost, almost done. So moving on to lips. This is the last category. I have my Stila Lip Liner in Aspiring. This is a beautiful nude liner. It's not too nude, but yet it's not too dark. It's that perfect shade. I got this off of Hope Look a while back, and I always, always, always go back to this. And for lipsticks, I have two MAC ones. This one is called Hue. It's just a really pretty pink nude shade. It's not too nude to where you look washed out because um, it does have a little bit of pink in it. So this is a great kind of everyday color. And then Creme de Nude. This is definitely a more true nude and this will definitely like make your lips look a lot more pale. But I love this especially with a lip gloss over top because I think it's just, it's just one of those lipsticks that is meant to be in your collection because you can just... I don't know. It goes with everything, and especially with a really dark eye, you want a new lip. So that's why I like this a lot. And for drugstore, this is actually one from Milani. This is the Milani Nude Cream. This one has like a watermelon smell. All of these smell so good, but this is a really pretty wearable nude. I feel like it's a cross between Hue and Creme de Nude in a little bit of a darker form. And I just think it's beautiful. So. Milani in the Gold Tube Nude Cream. Love. And then lip glosses. First off, the NYX Butter Glosses. I love these, especially Creme Brulee. This is the one I'm usually wearing all the time. The only thing is that it doesn't last very long, but they're not sticky, which is why they really don't last long. And they look really good. If you don't mind applying them throughout the day, then you'll be fine with it. So my favorites are Creme Brulee and then Apple Strudel. I actually like to use this one a lot on its own if I'm doing just like a natural look. So these are my two faves. I love them. And from MAC, I have my MAC Pro Longer Lip Glass in Patience Please, which this is going to last a really long time. MAC lip glasses are very, very sticky, but they last a long time. So this one's Patience Please and it's like a pinky nude shade. It's really, really gorgeous. goes with a lot. And this one's by far my favorite lip glass from MAC, and you can tell because it doesn't have any writing on it, and I use it all the time. This is MAC's Floral Abundance, and it's like a peachy nude. So beautiful paired with, with any lipstick, honestly. <sighs> Alright, so that is it for this video. I know it was long, but I feel like Holy Grail products are something that... I just, I don't know. I have a bunch of, which is a good thing because I can always go back to certain products. Thumbs up if you would like a skincare holy grail products. Um, I have been using the, these new products for the past couple months and I swear by them. A lot of you have noticed my skin has changed a lot, so I would love to do that video. If you're interested, just give this video a thumbs up if you are. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my latest video at the end of this one. And I'll see you in my next video.